uh, remove high metals, remove toxic chemicals, you go on adding, every step you go on adding chemicals. So you add poison to treat poison. So you end up in more poison. So that is what has happened in, in those last uh, several years, um, hundreds of years, um, uh, factories and industries that have been dumping. In fact, we started realizing uh, the pollution uh, that you have created only after the World War II. After, after World War II, we have never bothered about, but we we done a lot of damage. But only after World War II, people started realizing that we have already damaged the earth enough. There is, then we have a lot of sites shut down because of mercury and other high metal pollution. Now the list is becoming bigger and bigger. Now we have three responsibilities to remediate the soil or water, whatever you have already polluted, to minimize pollution by managing the present uh, pollution and future pollution also. We, so as I told you, you have to manage pollution. It's not prevent, you have to manage. So to manage, you have, a de you have to develop a technology which is acceptable to industry as well as public. Public acceptance is very important than industry acceptance. Industry will accept anything, but public acceptance is a very important aspect and bioremediation has a hundred percent success in making people accept the uh, so I, I'm, I'm not going to go, go into details next one so uh, next one so the best approach will be to completely destroy the pollutants if possible that's not possible always or convert them into harmless substance this is possible uh, using bioremediation. That's what we have been trying to achieve for the last 10 years and uh, I don't know how much we have achieved. It's still a uh, long struggle. Uh, as long as we live, we have to struggle. It's, it, no, there is no end. You have to go on struggling. Next one. Next one. So there are a number of... Uh, so bioremediation is using biological organisms. It may be bacteria, it may be fungi, uh, it may be plants, it may be algae or any other microbes to destroy or render harmless various contaminants. But as such, it is a low cost, low technology technique. The technique itself is a low cost technology, low technique, technology technique. That means it is not, it doesn't require a sophisticated kind of uh, training or equipment or uh, people to handle. Once you develop it, anybody can manage it. Even your uh, watchman can, security fellow can manage it people who very easily you can uh, train them. It's not a high technology technique. Next one. But to develop it, next next one. To develop it, considerable experience and expertise may be required. To develop the technology is very, very difficult. Once you develop it, anybody can follow. It's not a high technology technique. It's very simple. But to develop this simple technology, you, you should have an expertise and experience. So unless the industry invites, unless the, the producer invites, you cannot have this expertise and experience. Whatever you have, I mean, uh, got in the laboratory, it has no relevance at all. That we are realized only very late. Whatever you do in the laboratory, you cannot just extrapolate and expect the same thing can happen in the field. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen at all. In one of the industries, uh, when we say, when we said uh, based on the feasibility study, it is not possible. But industry insisted you try it in the field. It, when we tried, it, it was working. So what do you say? It's it's laboratory kind of experience and expertise we have developed. It has no relevance at all in developing a technology. So there should be an uh, invitation from the industry, and for that you should be, um, uh, I mean, believable. Industry believe you that you have a technology because otherwise they cannot um, put a, put their money. As long as you are inside the industry, inside the laboratory the amount of money that you will be using will be very limited. Even if you are not successful, you can just wash everything and then start a new experiment. You are not going to lose. The government is going to fund or the university is going to fund. But once you go out of the laboratory, go into the industry's uh, funding, everybody, peso or what, what is the local uh, dollar, they, they, they give you peso. <laughs> so they, they expect uh, many times in, in return. So you cannot make a mistake. You cannot say that you have spent uh, so many uh, million dollars, but it is not working, just 
just turn the side and we'll start again it's not possible so there is risk involved that's why the industry doesn't believe you and we don't enter into that kind of uh, agreement it's it's a risky adventure which we don't want to take next one <laughs>